Hey guys, this is Lawathor, back today in, ouch, back today in th Thrive. We're going to continue on in making our supercell of Doom, I think I called it. We're going to do, this is a two-part, oh man, why is it hard to move? I, oh, I forgot how to play! Okay, turn around. We're going to see if we can uh, make take this cell all the way up to the 20 and kind of make a cool little multi-cellular thing. Um, normally I don't do multi-parts. Or, because it, but it takes a while to really get to the end of this, so I really wanted to showcase the the multicellular part, not the single cell. Even though the single cell is the focus, this is all experimental. Most likely, it's going to be subject to change. We are on what five, you know, zero point five point ten. But yeah, so we're we can continue on. I think we did get slime jet. No, we have the control thing. Uh, I think we build a piece that eventually has slime jets. But yeah. We've kind of uh, taken over our species of this multicellular, probably the only multicellular creature. I don't even know if other creatures can become multicellular at this point. That'd be interesting to know. But with our thermal sensors, our thermal synthesizers, yeah, we have become the dominant species on this little pitiful planet, at least as far as I know. And yeah, we're everywhere. Like, just all over. There's 8.7 thousand of us, which actually isn't a lot for how small we are, but I don't know. Who knows how this really works? Oh, something neat. Let's continue eating. But yeah, so after this episode, I'll, I'll try a different cell start from beginning to end, and maybe we'll just continue doing these multi-part episodes from beginning to end. I don't know. Just do whatever we can. Uh, we can stab, and then we can consume. Come on, poke. Poke. Let's see, get him right in there. There we go. Oh, perfect. And let's eat it all up. It really does look like it's vacuum in, which I kind of like. Oh, there we got the punching. Our left fist. An uppercut. Left jab. Let's see if we can go up to this red guy. I do like that some of these other cells kind of are pretty big, actually. Like, that that's a, that's a pretty meaty cell there compared to us. I mean, we're bigger, but it's, it's still something. It's not this, these tiny little ones. We can punch it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Now consume it up before our brothers eat it all. Yeah, get away. No one likes you. Ah, perfect. And this slow going leveling up, so we'll see. Um, I haven't really had much other time than doing this little series to test out some of this. I do need to get in there and do some off-screen testing and playing around with. But I don't know, it's kind of fun to do it on with you guys. Especially, I am playing like five of their games at the same time, too. So, it's it's interesting that you kind of forget for week to week. Especially when you only do like one... I only do like one recording of Thrive a week. Thrive on Thursdays, it's Thursday night. So, you guys probably won't see this till Friday. So, Thrive on Friday. But, yeah. Um, I also do some extra stuff on Fridays and Saturdays. This weekend, though, I'm going camping, so I won't probably get as much out there as I normally would, but that's okay. I'm also playing Shine Force 2, which is an old Sega Genesis retro game. Check that out. Uh, I'm playing Grounded. I just bought. That's super fun. It's, it's basically um, like Minecraft, but but you're shrunk down, so it's like Honey, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Minecraft. Um, I'm playing Kerbal. Kerbal's a blast. I end up dying on that a lot. So, uh, I think there's a couple other games I'm playing too. Sometimes I, there's some games I pick up, I play once or twice, and that's it, and then I'm done. I don't make a series out of it. That, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you just want to play a game a little bit and then play it off camera. Oh, and Minecraft, of course, I'm playing Minecraft. Can't forget about good old Minecraft, the game that everyone's playing. See, I, I was playing it before everyone was, though. I started back, back in beta one point, I don't know, one point something. I started playing that before Wolves were around. That's to show you how long I've been playing that game. Anyways, though, we're playing Thrive today by Revolutionary Games. Great indie development game by... Well, it was. It isn't anymore. But basically, the, the core concept of this game is... It was Spore-inspired, but they wanted to be more than Spore. They wanted to be a full, fleshed-out game that focused on not only being fun, but scientifically accurate as much as they could. But while Spore failed on that front, they were hoped to do it, uh, which was a huge scope. Uh, they even said, this may be a game that will never get finished no matter how many decades we work on it, you know. But with that, they also didn't want it to become this big budget title that people had to spend lots of money on. They wanted it to be 
a game for everyone, an educational tool people could use while having fun. So at first, that started off with a completely free game, and the game is still free, but they've changed, they've slightly altered it where they've now, they've started taking donations and Patreons, and it is on Steam for $5, but you can go to their site, download the launcher, and get it for free too. The Steam aspect is just more a convenience cost, or a, hey, this is a way you can donate without it getting wishy-washy, just buy the game off Steam instead of downloading it. So there's they've they've opened up some platforms and hired a little bit to help progress the game forward. But you know, it's still slow going. The 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 scope of the game involves stuff that really hasn't been done before. The stuff they have to figure out how to do, not just take what's already out there and add it in. So it's definitely going to be I mean but look how far they've come this this is the work of volunteers this is this I'm playing which has become an actual game on its own now just the the uh, cell stage is a pretty good indie development game it's well worth the five dollars and it's free actually just what you can do in this little creative mode as a cell and vo people that were bored at home <laughs> made this that's the crazy part I over and there's many hands are involved in this as just not just programmers, but outreach and development and discussion and everything. Oh, look, we have our slime jets. We sacrifice glucose to propel us forward, but we it doesn't really seem to propel us that much more. Maybe we're just so fat it doesn't really matter. Mulagen. Mucilagen. Mucilage. I don't know, slime, snot, <laughs> coming out of the back of us, just propelling us forward. Look at that little little one of us over there. It is interesting as a little cell here, uh, well not a cell, like multiple cells, that we're all working together. I mean, but the thing is, we aren't really individualized. We've just decided to attach together and get slightly differences you know these ones have punching so they don't they don't need to move this one's kind of like the brain one and these ones are movement you know so we have some specialty but not really like in our bodies we have cells that literally just do this thing and they could not survive on their own they would just die like heart cells and skin cells and other stuff they're so specialized they really only do one function Ooh, let's go eat these guys because eating is fun oh sorry little brother friend guy didn't mean to Ooh, we got in a little stream or something here. We're going fast. Eat him. He's breaking. Oh no, he killed one of us. So that's nice. They might be multicellular though. If they kill us, they don't kill all of us. Well, I guess if you kill, I think the way it works, if you kill this one, we die. So you really want to protect your core cell. Oh, that piece of iron is getting in our way. I'll have to back up. Controls as a multi-cell is, is a little wonky. You feel like a semi-truck when you move. <laughs> so, because you're kind of spinning around this. You, you don't pilot this whole thing. You pilot this cell and everything else is attached to it, which I kind of don't like. They should, I don't know how they do this, but they should make it so you're the whole cell for perspective. Versus just the core one. But I don't know, that might be hard to implement. Or maybe they're working on it and they just haven't got there yet. A lot of this is still testing, so that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, so I, you know, technically we're two stages here. You have single cell, then multicellular, then you go macroscopic, where you become like, I think, more of an actual creature versus just some cells. So, kind of get into that second and third stage, which is pretty neat that, that they are making progress towards more than just cells. Making the progress towards unlocking more aspects of the game, which is, is great. You know, something like this, I didn't think would actually happen anytime soon. I thought it was just a cell stage thing, and that would be it. But look at here we are. Here I am. What do I got? Oh, no, don't kill me. Oh, you stole my kill. We got, what, 3, 6, 9, 12? I don't know, 3, 6, 9. Yeah, 12 cells all combined together, some being specialized. They even have a neat system for specializing your cells without it just changing everything. You slowly evolve them little bit by little bit, which makes sense. You know what? That works. Oops, I didn't mean to pause. I didn't know you could pause it. Look at that. Learn something new. Ah, oh, they're eating my food. These black and red ones are the only other things that are surviving. Oh, I pushed them into it. Well, get out of there. Yeah, get away from my front. Come on, stop. 
I don't want you anymore. Okay, let's see if we can slime jet away. Yeah, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Maybe on a large scale like this, it's just not enough. I mean, we have four slime jets. But who knows? We'll keep them just in case. I'll select that it's not perfectly like this back one here is kind of sticking out more than that one. It's like this, it's, it's organic. It, it feels very organic-y. Some stuff doesn't match up perfectly, which, you know, that's how your real cells are. It's not a little perfect grid. Some stuff is wonky or, or hexagonal or whatever. Okay, let's punch the crap out of him. Oh, see, the punching works. The goblin up doesn't. Or a punch him. Oh, there's a black one there. It's these dark ones. They're a lot harder to see. They have, like, sort of a natural camouflage towards us. Oh, tried to slime jet towards him a little bit. I think it adds a little bit to our speed, but not a whole lot. I mean, we're actually decently fast here, to be honest. Okay, we just need a little more phosphate. Oh, speak of the devil, we got it. Okay, we want to stay in our patch. Here's our cell. Speed spike, stem boost. We want to get to that 20 cells. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. We need 7 more. What can we do? Just some more speeds? Maybe some more... Oh, that got big for a second. 4. 5. Wait, no. We do... Like that. A little colony of cells here protecting me. Actually, I'm kind of the mouth. I'm still kind of state as the mouth bit. Oh, look at that. I split off. Whew. Okay, let's go find some stuff to eat and consume now. Oh, I am... I'm lagging pretty bad. I think there's just too much... Oh, look, I'm leaking out all that stuff. I don't know what it is, but I'm leaking it out. I think it's hydrogen sulfide. Oh yeah, the game's having trouble with some of these big old fat cells. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I think one more evolve and we have enough to get to that sweet 20. Oh, but it's going to take forever, especially with how much bad we're lagging. We do have a pretty looking cell though. Okay, we got to look at settings here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, graphics, here we go. Is there like just uh, good settings, bad settings? No, that wouldn't be that easy, would it? I don't know, but we'll just have to deal with it. It's just a lot going on, and it's all in development, and my computer sucks. Mostly the last one. Because look at that big mass of crap that's all working together, pushing the other one out of the way. Oh, there, it caught up. Okay, it just took a second to catch up, and we're slow. Hey, we got our first little pit. I don't know, actually, actually I think we are pretty fast. We're not, we're no freaking race car here, but I feel like we are zooming along decently. Let's see, we just need ammonia and phosphate. We can do, we can take over the world, which just slowly builds up for some reason. Mostly just like killing stuff, that's the fun part. Oh, speaking of which... You guys stay away from my my food. Get away. Everyone flee. Yep, yep. It, this thing's food. <laughs> Not yours, though. We stick and stab him a bit. Come on. Come on. Die. Ah, perfect. Ah, oh, yummy, yummy bits and gibbs. Let's get this one now. Oh, see, I'm a little faster now. I think some of the difference in speed is minimal. It's hard to notice them. But when you're, like, you're chasing or racing, you know, it's, those couple little percentages matter. Oh, there must be a big one of me around. It's lagging. Oh, there's, like, three or four. Oh, yeah, there's two of them fighting over something. Oh, we hit a stream or something. We're zooming. Whoa, horsey. Yeah, there are little, um... I don't want to call... What are they called? Like, tide pool streams or whatever? Currents. That's the word. There's different currents. Oh, look. We just consumed that guy whole. That or we're just really fast with these two little boosters. 
Let's see if we can get this guy without hurting ourselves. Nope, we're getting hurt. Don't want to die. We do have low health. Oh, we just stabbed him to death. Nice. Oh, look, we can go eat this one, too. Don't you dare. Uh, run away. There's bad stuff here. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the way I eat everything is just telling my, my own cells to run away. Yeah, uh, run away. That's that's the best option right now. Run away and starve. Oh, there it must be uh, unloaded some of those big cells because it's calmed down now. Oh, there's one. Haha, -ha, poked him. Now yeah, we got real slow all of a sudden. Well, we did get these two big ones at the front. Must just be heavy. And stabby stab. Ouch. Oh, it's poking one of my arms. Let's see if we can stop that. Get away, guys. Uh, run away. They're not listening, are they? They're trying to run away through me, which makes perfect sense, I guess. I'm just wiggling this one between my two spikes. Come on, die already. We're like buddies now. It's like when you have a toxic friend at work that just won't go away no matter what you punch him. And he's like, oh, good one, friend. And you're like, no, I'm, I don't like you. And you're like, oh, good one. Like Garfield and John. Like I don't know why John puts up with him. Probably because he's a cat. They're trying to steal my food. Look at this. Straight up. Mine. Get away. No one likes you. That's right. You better leave. Look, we're already like halfway there. What's that thing in the middle there? What is that? Is that normal? Is that some of the stuff I ate I'm digesting? Is it digesting it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just stuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got slow again. Agents? Oh, mucilagen! Okay. We need glucose to shoot that out, though. We don't have any glucose. So let's go eat some people to get some. Oh, he's gonna eat them both. Aha, he got poked. That's what you get. We'll eat them, because we're smart. We got brain cells. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't, but... We know how to kill stuff by poking it a whole bunch. Oh, look at that. That was a good kill. Just hit him on all the spikes, and I'll take him out. And... Woo! Okay, there was, like, no fart there. We can, yeah, this kind of punching thing with these kind of just rakes across them and just kills them fast. It's kind of nice. Like that. Look at that. Oh, it really helps us out. Dang, that's, that's good. That works well. The whole, like, punching technique. If we can get it here and go, punch. Okay. Punch, and then get this side. I think these guys are going to extinct from us. I don't know how they're living. I don't know how any of them are still left. Oh, that goes too much, so much slime so quickly. I guess we just don't hold a lot. 17 is a lot compared to everything else. is like 130. That's probably the problem. We just can't hold that much. That's fine, though. Now we got four of them. Vroom. Yeah, we can't hold that much. Hmm. Is there a way to hold more? Probably something. Oh, there's one. Let's get him. I don't know. What's what's more fun? Punching them or consuming them? I think punching them is more fun. But, oh. But, but it's very satisfying. They're going to get that one for sure. Oh, we got one. I think it's more satisfying to consume them. Yeah, okay. I guess we can be cannibals if it... Or scavengers is what it is, not cannibals. Get out of my way! No one likes you. Here. Uh, everyone run away. Or get in my way more. Oh my gosh, they get stuck here. It's supposed to consume enemies, not friendlies. Okay, seriously. You guys are bugging the crap out of me. Look, he stole it all because of you. Jerk. Slime away. 
I really feel like this slime does nothing. Hmm. Oh well. I'll probably just do pig and fat. I have to have like a bunch of them. Look, 10. We're, ha we're actually halfway there now. 11. We're over halfway. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's some down there. Let's go get them. Super little dots. Haha, <laughs> they got one of them. That sucks. He's gonna go eat up his parts, though. I mean, that's true. If your guy die, just go eat him up and remake it. You lose a little bit of energy, but that's about it. I mean, there's plenty of heat. Imagine that, like, we live in a world where, like, we're down here. Instead of the sun, it's, like, the thermal vents we live off. That would be kind of neat. Don't really develop eyes and stuff as much because light's not really a thing. Our main, like, because, like, eyes are our main sense. Like, hearing and feeling is secondary to sight. Sight's the most important thing for us. We play video games off of our sight. Imagine if it wasn't. Imagine if feeling was our main sense and, like, sight was secondary you know, like, people around stuff and they plug their nose and they just keep it plugged and they're like, oh, that smells, I don't want to deal with it. What if you're like, oh, we just close your eyes and like, I don't want to deal with that. I, I can, I'll just go off feeling and hearing. That'd be crazy. Or maybe we have, like, some sort of a heat sense like snakes do. You guys know that? Snakes can, like, they have little, like, ears, little, little knobs, holes, things on their head. And they, they detect, they feel heat. I, like, sense it like a little sonar type thing. I don't know. I'm getting that half wrong. But you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm close enough. That'd be pretty cool if we could do that. Just sense heat. Like, oh, yeah, there's there's a guy farting over there. I can sense his fart. It's really warm. <laughs> be like, wait, what? Yeah, John farted. How do you know? I can feel the heat of it. Oh. Game lagged for a bit and we got super fast. That's normal, right? Big burst of speed. Maybe our slime jet finally worked. Whew, we're going supersonic. Did we get another part? Did we get one that just boosted our speed up enough to matter? We probably just hit another uh, current. Or the game glitched out. Who knows? <laughs> All I'm going to say is I'm happy that's working. There we go. We slowed down a bit now. I think, I think the game's just having a little bit of trouble because my system sucks and sometimes it does calculations wrong as when you're 14 cells smashed together and it's trying to keep track of a dozen of them it's just like, eh, we'll round the two this way this time. 15. Whew, how many more? I think we can, I think... Yeah, we still gotta do one more evolve to get to that full 20. But man, that's gonna be great. I could try putting a slime jet on my main cell too to see if that matters. That'd be interesting. I think we've extinct most of those other cells. We had the red ones I haven't seen in a while, and we ate a lot of the black ones. All left is the creepy looking yellow ones. Ah, oh, 16. 16 counting. Keep it coming, boys. Slime jet. Ooh, that gave us a big boost that time. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, here we go. Food time. Eat up, boys. Oh, consume that one. Let's get this one over here. Get the little triple. Don't kill my own cell, please. You're about to there. Tell everyone else to run away. Ah, oh, there we go. We hit something again. Let's calm down a bit here. Oh no, there's like five of us behind me. Look at two big ones. A colony of multi-cells. I think we can't hurt each other. That would suck. Oh, let's turn this off. Like, if we could actually hurt each other, that would be very bad. Assume all this. I feel like in this run, especially the last episode, consuming those doesn't do anything. This thing scales up the same regardless. Which I'm guessing is a bug. 
a glitchy glitch. An issue. I should look into it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be honest here. <laughs> Someone smart will figure it out. And it'll be fixed soon. Oh, there we go. We got 18. We need two more. And we'll become the ultimate cell. Of ultimateness. Can we speed along real fast? Well, let's make everything else flee. Get out of my way. And let's go supersonic. Oh, look, we got a bunch. Oh, we actually go pretty fast doing that. Yeah, we just needed more of them. Guess that was the issue. Just needed more. I feel like that one sticks out and it shouldn't be. So we need one more over here. And we'll do one more punch and one on the front. We'll close our mouth up and just be full on punch. Oh, we ran out of speed. That's okay. 19! Did we actually have 20 and we just didn't realize it? No, we can't be. I think we're soft. Were we only off by one? Are we only off by one? That would be ridiculous. Supersonic! Oh, dude, that gets us going pretty good. Okay, let's kill these guys. Dang, they look so tiny compared to us. I mean, not individually, they're only like, what, a third of our size? But like, this big old massive thing versus two of these guys. Ooh, three, there's that one over there too. Let's just poke them all, please don't kill me. Okay, a few. Yeah, this is kind of getting points there, so we gotta put another puncher on front. Kind of close off our mouth and we'll just consume the bits that come in. Oh look, we've actually ate that guy, that happens sometimes. Slime jet away! Oh, I ran out already. Definitely gotta add more of that somehow. Oh, we can do it! Okay! Let's... Oh, that's so unsymmetrical. Maybe we won't do a punch? Let's do one of you. Let's modify this. Because what will store more glucose? Won't it be vacuoles? Right? That will store more glucose, right? Okay, I gotta do a punch one on the front. It just... Let's modify the stem. Do where's my slime? Here it is. Oh, 30, I don't have enough. Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. There, there's our perfect cell. Reap it in, guys. You'll never see a more beautiful sp specimen in the world. Oh, we should change the color. Oh well. We'll stick with the jaundice yellow. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's make everyone else flee. Oh, we're lo lo losing glucose because we're supposed to have... We're, I think we take like half your resources from the last guy. So all the glucose he ga gave us just like leaked out. Okay, let's go find some buddies to eat. Not buddies, but you, you know, you know. Some, some other cells. That probably think we're... Actually, they don't think we're friendly. They have a bunch of spikes on them. They obviously know we're trying to murder them. So, yeah. There's lots of these little twos and threes of me running around. And every once in a while, you see one of the big old 20s. Just honking out there. They aren't pooping out glucose. They're pooping out... Well, they are. It's in the form of slime. Hey, our first one. Oh, that boosts our speed up a lot. Speed away! Speed level two. Boy, the chemicals. Game catches up and we slow down. I think it forgets how bad of a cell we are. It's like, oh yeah, you got more, you can go faster. Oh wait, no, you're fat. <laughs> nope, slow it is. Or I think it is those currents too. There's, oh, there's a big one of us. Is that one or is, no, no, that's not. They were just flying in pattern. Here, flee away. Get away. I'm the alpha cell. The most important one. 
Here, let's consume some iron. Yeah, get in the belly. I don't need you. Just pass out and poop out. Oh, I love that. I love that they let you poop out stuff you don't need. Just goes in at one end, goes out the other. Come on, we want some stuff to kill. There has to be something else here. Going slow, slowly going. There's some ammonia we can consume. Oh, we got three. When did that happen? There's some phosphate and more ammonia down here. Let's go grab that while we're at it. Like I said, not that it matters. Not that it m m m m matters, but it'll still be good to grab. I think we extinctified those other cells. Because like I said, I haven't seen the red ones in a long time. And it's been a while since I've seen... Oh, there the game glitched out, so let's go fast now. Performance issues are not an issue, but a benefit. Performance benefits. Oh, we hit that iron. Let's look around quickly before it realizes we're not supposed to be cheating. I swear there should be other stuff here. Come on, did we really extinct them? I mean, it is possible. A species can go extinct. I didn't check. Uh, the let's see if that one did. Oh, avoid the poison. The purple, bright pink clouds are bad. All the other clouds are good, but the pinks really want the ones that look kind of violent and explodey. Uh, not, but not really, not really explodey, but just kind of like dissipating. Dissipating? Those are not the good ones. Everyone's following us. I told you guys to flee. Get away. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! That's right. Go. Suckers. <laughs> Fools. You fall employee to the biggest scam ever. The get away and leave me alone scam because I want to kill everything. Seriously, I want to murder some more stuff. Has to be something else here. I mean, it's lagging bad enough. It's killing me. Hey, we got four. I guess that happened a while ago. Fifth one should be coming along pretty soon. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. I say and he spawns. Like, I'm coming. Hold on. Pish posh. While we're at it, let's eat some more rust. Get them, boys. Can you come big enough that you can eat the giant rust ones? Oh, I love that. In one, out the other, in another, out the other. I said leave me alone, guys. Yeah, run away. But seriously, where's, where's some cells to eat? Are my cells just doing that good? They've literally consumed everything. And how is there some glucose here? That's got to be impossible. We would have eaten up all the glucose by now. Something would have just died a couple minutes ago and their pieces dissolved away there. Look, there's more! There's no way this all glucose will... I guess we don't need it. Our big ones do when we get some slime jets. But like other than that, we don't really need glucose. Come on, turn. You're having a lot of trouble turning there, bub. There's a lot of iron down here. Like, you can make a good iron monster out of all this iron. Which, you know, as soon as you do, you're like, Okay, I'll change the iron. All the iron will be like, poof, gone. Sucks to be you. You needed us, but we're not here anymore. Oh, man, that's a giant one. Is that a is that a fully evolved one, or is that the one I was before? Is that the 19 or the 21? Interesting to know. How to tell... Oh, that's a 19 cell species. That's one. Actually, real cells are like that. Like, tardigrades tend to have all the same cells in a species. They'll have, like, I don't know what it is. Let's say 217 or 2,000, you know. They have, like, you can look at them, and each one has the exact same number of cells in a species. Which is crazy, because, like, as humans, there's no way I could be one cell off. I probably have, like, an extra million cells than you do, you know. Obviously, I'm bigger or taller and... Discrepancy. Did we... Did our spike push that? Wait a second. You can push the death clouds? Okay, we gotta test this. Do spikes actually push them? Is there like some sort of material that's actually emitting that? <gasps> you totally can! 
oh man, what if you made a build where you captured these and you kept them on the front? Like it's sort of like a poison. Like look, that's on the front of me now. They're very hard to keep on there though. But you just kept on collecting those and stuff would run into them. And you're like, here, have this. And you'd run away. That'd be a great little fun build to try and do. Oh, man. I mean, there's just the toxin sacks already, but... Oh, can we get two? Oh, we're losing this one. You gotta, like, push forward as you turn. Otherwise, you lose it. Let's see if we can capture this one over here. Oh, we got two of them! Poison clouds of death! Pushing poisons! <laughs> That's great. Imagine, like, you just kept doing more... I can't show it because if we move my ass, I'll lose them. But like all the front ones each like had one of their own. Hey, get off me, bub. Remember, run away. Oh no, we lost them. Okay, well we got one on that guy. Right on the mouth. Man, that'd be a fun strat to do. Try and build it around just collecting those. Here, let's eat this iron. Oh, the iron got stuck too. That's so funny that with all the spikes stuff gets stuck on them. Wait, do we have slime jets? Oh, we do. Seems like it boosted us a little bit. I love that the little death poison clouds you can capture. Capture in death. Oh, can we get three? Slowly turn. That'd make for a good thumbnail. There's one right there. See, if I let go, though, and turn, it won't work. Oh, come on. A little bit more turn. I think I can get this. Oh, we're going to miss it. Be okay, careful. Hold it steady. There's one there. Turn. Oh, oh, hold, hold steady. Steady. Oh, look at that. We got it. Oh, no, no, don't turn. I was trying to move my mouse. Oh, no, we lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> the risk. Oh man, that's funny though. We, you can actually capture those. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's amazing that you can. Oh, let's see if we can do it again. Oh man, just a whole wall of them all around you. The only problem is you, you can't really capture them, you can push them. That'd be great though if you could like get them stuck between the spikes. Kind of like that. A piece of iron is basically stuck right now. But they must have some sort of volume or mass, some little visible orb that everything radiates off of them. So if you make your spikes big enough, they could probably get jammed in there. Like the one in my mouth seems pretty stuck right now. Look, the one over there. That guy, he's copying us. He's capturing death too. He's pushing poison around. Dancing with death. Now, now I just wish I could push it into someone. That'd be the that'd be the best part of this. But there's nothing. <gasps> Wait, I could push it into my friends, and kill them. Can I push? I can become a cannibal this way. No, I mean it's not. It doesn't do enough. I think. Let's see if we can push it into this guy. I mean, it won't kill him, but it'll be it'll do some damage. But he'll heal before I can do. You'd have to have a lot of them. You'd have to have like 10 of them stacked up or something. Look though, I can push them on this guy. Oh, it's lagging real bad. And I'm going to bunk into that piece of iron. I wish you could like, let go and launch them. Oh, that is just too funny. I feel like the one in my mouth's actually good and stuck. Oh, I regret saying that. It's gone. Oh, hit me. Okay, well, let's capture this one. Man, there's a lot of big cells that's lagging bad because of that. Look, though, it's so easy to, like, grab them right in those little punchy fists. You saw that earlier. There was one of my own... Oh, the lag is... Like, if the lag's this bad for me, it's got to be horrible for you guys. There's just too many big cells. I feel like that one just rolled her off of us. Whatever. Oh, man. Let's just hold still for a second. Let, let's let the lag catch up to us. It's just too many of us. I wonder if there's a way to turn down the render distance. Render distance. User render. Let's, let's do 
smaller entities, so there's not as much things to kill. And I doubt that'll help, but it is what it is. Just have to deal with it. Oh man, we're halfway there. We're up to 11. 11 out of 21. Keep collecting stuff. We must have extinct those other guys, because there is nothing else here. Oh, there the leg caught up. Or, leg didn't catch up? We, we escaped the leg? Oh yeah, you can lose these real easy. Let's see, I think the middle spikes are a little bit wider, so it really gets stuck in there. So you can, yeah, you can turn with this one. Okay, let's try and push it into this guy. Here, uh, move to me. I said get over here! They're all running away. They're just used to the run away command. Let's see, if I go... <gasps> it worked! <laughs> I mean, it's not enough to kill, but... You can make a cannibal creature doing this. Okay, everyone run away. I don't want to deal with you anymore. <laughs> I guess no command. I, maybe the commands are lagging everything down. That is hilarious. You can throw poison clouds into your allies. I mean, if if you collect enough in the middle here, like design your spikes like these ones where it all gets caught in. Oh, he glitched into us. Get out. Get away. I like threw them all into him at once. You could do it that way. Uh, do we have full slime jet? Yeah, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Get off me! Okay. We gotta find more poison clouds. Let's try and collect a bunch in the mouth. If we can do more in one. And throw them into someone that way. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Let's see. Oh, now that I want poisons, there aren't any. There was like a bajillion before. There were so many. Get away. It's probably because I turned down settings a little bit. And it's like, fine, we won't load any of those. There's too many cells, so we won't load those now. And I'm like, thanks. Thanks a lot. Is that? No, that's just phosphate. I mean, same color. Slime jet away! No. <laughs> Some glucose. How'd that get here? I mean, I guess I didn't pick it up. Whatever. Oh, a little bit of a speed boost there. Utilize it with the slime jet. Whew, that actually gave us a good speed boost. I think it was a leg speed boost, but I'll take it. Oh, there's a big one off to the right. Great. Oh, there's a poison! Let's go collect it in our mouth. The poison pincher. Hey, get away from me. Don't run into the poison! Oh, look at him turn. He can't. Oh, he ran into the poison! I shouldn't have told him to flee. Okay, no command. Fine. Just do your own thing. Oh, there's one over there. Come on, turn, turn, turn to face it. Get it right in the mouth. And there's a second one. The only problem is if you like stop going forward, you can like drop them. So whenever we turn, we gotta go forward. Oh, see, we're about to lose it. Can we get two in there? No! We gotta get them on our f punchy fists. Oh, see, we've lost that one already. Oh man. How do you get how do you get more than one in your mouth? Because the spikes can't get much bigger than that. I guess you just collect them all in your cells. Yeah, we can yeah, we see we can collect one on each punchy fist. Each cell can kinda collect one. They but yeah, they have some sort of like centralized mass. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Trying to poison you guys. Get off me. Oh, look. You made me poison myself. Thanks. See, that little orb. That's how big it really is, I'm guessing. When it, like, flashes and shows you the orb. Like, we can just push the rock out of the way. Fine. You guys want some poison? Here. Have some poison. You. You have some poison. Eat my toxin. Come on. You were bugging me. You want it now? No? 
No, you don't want it? Aha, uh -huh, I got you with it. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Okay, well, let's have him stop running, because that, that's what's making him fully away. Oh, we're 16 out of 20. We're almost there. 17! Uh, a couple more to go, and we can become a giant living creature. Uh, spoiler alert, I think the game just ends and says, Cool, you did it! We haven't made any more to the game! Have fun playing! <laughs> so, it, it's just kind of a placeholder for now. Spoiler alert there, in case you were waiting for the end. But, you know, whatever. Okay, let's head on down. We got four more to go. Well, three, technically. See if we get to the last one or not. I do love that you can capture those little poison clouds. I wonder if you can make a build that's really designed around... I might I might go into creative and see if you can do that. That'd be a great run. Oh, man. We're so close. Four more to go. I'm going to be done with this stupid cell. <laughs> it's taking the forever. Oh, there's some more poison. Here we go. The only I like I like this cell. It's it's good for killing other stuff. The problem is we killed it. Oh, look at that. We hurt ourselves. The problem is we killed everything, so there's nothing left to kill. Oh, slime jet away. Oh, we hit our own poison. See, it is like a pretty big ball, though. Oh, can we collect that one? Oh, yes. See, right now I can hold... If I do it right, I can hold three. Actually, if I do right, I could probably get two on each fist. I could probably very carefully get five, but I'd have to line it like a perfectly, because if you move at all, it, they drop off. I take some finagling, but I could probably get five. But, like, throwing five of those into another multi-cell, like, it won't kill any of the cells, but that'll cause some damage. That would cause them to want to, like, run away. Because I think cells, like, if they take damage, they're like, nope, I'll be done. So it's more of just a defense thing versus offense. But if you could collect enough and throw them all into one cell, you could kill the cell. Oh, look, we can get third one here. Oh, I feel like we're going to hit something. Oh, we missed it. Ouch! But if we put a spike right there on that one that got hit, like, jet now, that would also hold him too, right? Oh, there's another one. Oh, we're losing that one. Come on. Oh, we lost it. Ouch! Okay, we lost that one too. Ouch! And uh, we lost that one too. Ouch! It only does 3 damage? Oh, I thought I did like 15. There's no way 3 damage would kill us. I thought they did a lot more than that. Okay, it does 5 damage. Interesting. So you would really need like 10 of them to kill a full cell. And if you start to recover before that, you need like 12, really. Because you can't do them all instantaneously. Hmm. It's not really a viable option. I mean, it's good defense and that's about it. But, I mean, if they have spikes, they stop at two, so... <gasps> 20 cells! Do we want to get one more, or should we hit the button? I think we'll go for one more. Let's slime away! Oh, wow, we actually go pretty fast with our slime jets. That's pretty cool. Let's eat this big rock. Poke! That's another thing! What if you use rocks as, like, armor? Like... It'd be hard to do, but technically that'd be a way to adapt without actually, like, spending mutation points. I think this is interesting in environmental aspects. The poison and the rocks. using Utilizing those for your cell. Because if I could get a rock wedged in my mouth here, then that's a piece of armor or defense. Or even resources. If I'm an, if I'm an iron-eating cell, that rock's with me forever. Like, look at this trail it's leaving. It's my own food. Nothing's going to go off food for decades. Not really, but you guys know. Like, that'd be another, you know, a food advantage as well as defense. Because it creates a barrier, a wall, for if people try and hit you. Ah! Okay, we got 21. Let's do this. Oh, this is new. I don't... Okay, last time I played this, it just gave me a message, and that was it. So, 
Maybe it actually goes somewhere? Oh, did they add something new I didn't know about? I haven't been keeping up on a lot of the stuff. I've just been playing. I need to read more of the news and stuff. Sometimes they throw the stuff in without telling you too. I need to be I need to go check out the development forums on there. Whew. Come on, load faster, stupid computer. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be something real or just something corny and be like Here's our patch. What is this? Is this is this really the next stage? <gasps> Reproduction. Behavior. Oh wait, okay. Reproduction's move turtle. What is this? Select a tissue type to edit here from the editor tab? I don't know. I don't know how to select anything. Okay, that modifies that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. How do you like turn and stuff? Okay, Z, oh, C resets. Oh, it's like three dimensional. Is that what's going on? Do you like, you can't turn it out. Oh, you can. Oh my gosh. There is like a full on macro scale now. Let's save this because that looks stupid. <laughs> okay. Where's the front of our cell? It's like that, right? So... I guess we'll just confirm. I'll load my save menu too. What is this? Is this our cell? Okay, this is very, very janky. It's like three dimensional. What the heck's going on? I don't, I can't move or move to land, become aware. Okay, we're going to have to end it there because we are, we, I don't know what my cell is doing at this point, but these are the next stage. They've added, started adding in. I didn't think they did that. Hold C for cursor. Holy crap, There's, they started working on it. Look, it's it's all very janky right now, but it's all development. It's can't do much, but something's there. They started working on it, so we're going to end it there. I'll probably play around this off screen because I think it's very janky. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want me to try out.